Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Attractive Nuisance here, and today we're bringing you a brand new video on Hitman Blood Money. This is one of my favorite missions. The mission is You Never Can Tell. We got a beautiful Christmassy, a snowy background. Um, so if you're in one of those areas right now, kind of going through a heat wave, let's hope you can cool down with some of this gameplay here. Like I said, this is just one of my favorite maps. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. Uh, first part of the mission here, we're going to grab some um, Nugenics from the uh, from the guy up here, the bartender. We're going to grab some Extends, make sure we get it in the second target's drink, get him a little excited, and that'll get, basically get him to move from the pool to a different area on the map. It's just going to make things a little easier when we take him out later. Of course, our second... Uh, move here. We're going to sneak into the kitchen and poison one of the Johnsonville bratwursts that are sitting on the counter in here, so we'll explain kind of later why we do that. But there you just wanted to wait for the guard. Of course, Uncle Tom here. It wouldn't be Christmas without old uh, Uncle Tom here just drunk out of his mind. Um, he's going to set a bottle down there, and he is so blitzed that he's basically not going to realize what we're doing, so don't worry about it. If he sees you, he's he doesn't really see you because he's just so zapped. Um, but we grabbed the sausage there, we sedated it, and as an animal lover, you're going to understand later uh, basically why I did that. First target's right over there to our right. He's in the pool. He's just kind of hanging out until he gets his uh, double dose of uh, eugenics. Um, so we're going to head up here. It's one of my favorite parts. So as we're running through here, it's okay if we want if we're seen. We actually want to be seen. If you're not seen here by one of the guards, if one of the guards doesn't chase you, this isn't going to work. So, of course, we kind of timed this one out perfectly. He's going to come down and basically tell us we can't be here. We're going to be in a little shove down the stairs. Now, if you're wondering, oh, shit, you know, are, are we still going to satisfy Silent Assassin? Yes, we are. Um, so, in Hitman Blood Money, basically what I did right there, I just knocked the target out. So, he's not, he's not dead or anything like that. He's just knocked out. Um, so, we're going to grab his suit, and that's going to make it much, much, much easier uh, to take out our first target, Mr. De Havilland. So we're going to take a little shortcut here through the waterfall. We're going to go to the right here, and we're going to take the elevator up to the studio. The studio is going to be where De Havilland is. Um, we're going to grab the videotape up there, and then we're also going to uh, sedate his poodle. Um, so one thing that you'll see as we enter the love shack here, um, we're going to enter the love shack, we're going to drop a sausage here, um, or poison sausage. Um, this is basically for the dog. Um, so this isn't going to kill the dog, it's just going to sedate the dog. Um, so in Hitman Blood Money, especially in this mission, the dog actually acts as a witness. Um, so you want to basically either kill the dog or sedate the dog. Again, I love animals, so <laughs> we're going to take the easier, uh, more pet-friendly way out of this. But again, I just kind of wanted to bring you out here on the balcony, show you some, some of the just beautiful scenery, the beautiful sounds of the snow falling. You know, you could make this into an ASMR video to put you to sleep, you know. Maybe I'll do that in one of my videos as a joke. We'll do like three hours of, uh, of uh, Agent 47 up here just enjoying the snowfall and the sounds. Uh, so right now we're just going to hang out here for a minute, and we're going to wait for our target. There he is. So he's going to go He's going to go over to the edge here. He's going to pull out his uh, Marlboro Menthol Light 100s going to take a couple of puffs and then he's going to have an accidental spill here. As we come through you're going to notice the dog right there. Of course the dog's not dead, just knocked out. And we're going to head over here and grab the videotape. Sometimes I'll throw a coin in here if he's... Um, sometimes he'll get kind of stuck over here for a second. But uh, the main thing is you just want to make sure he doesn't see you to grab the videotape. So we grab the cassette tape and now um, we're going to basically head downstairs where I push that guard down the stairs. Um, so one of those rooms in the uh, the other love shack down there, um, that's where our second target's going to be. So of course, you know, he's taking good old Frank Thomas Nugenics. He's feeling good. He's up to the challenge. You know, male enhancement pills, they're working for him. He's getting really excited. Unfortunately, we're going to interrupt his time here, and he's not going to be happy about it. So we're going to interrupt him, and he's going to follow us over here to go down the staircase. Um, if you're ever trying to save time in a mission, you can use fiber wire on the staircase to take out your target quicker, and you'll see here. It kind of cuts the animation down. So we got him taken out. Um, basically, we are completely done with the mission. Um, of course, I almost forget I need to go back and grab my suit. So I'm going to grab the suit here, and then we're going to just basically head out the way we came in. 
Now, um, this door to the right there, as I'm running by, there's actually an assassin in there. Um, we'll kind of show you what happens <laughs> if you go in that room, um, but there is an assassin in there, so just avoid that room there. Again, we get to see the beautiful scenery here, the beautiful hot tubs, um, and just the beautiful landscape. So as we head back, we're going to head back to the elevator here. Fortunately, somebody just got off, so we get we get in pretty quick. Now, if you saw me, I kind of hugged tight behind the guard as I came into the elevator at the beginning of the mission. You'll want to do that because there is a camera outside here, so you don't want to be spotted. So we'll kind of keep it snug and tight there, and then we'll head over to our yacht. Let's see how we did. As you can see, one accidental kill, one total kill, and then one close combat kill. Of course, no witnesses, no nothing. Silent Assassin, 5 minutes and 40 seconds, so this was kind of a quick one here. And, of course, as always, my favorite part, or one of my favorite parts of the old Hitman Blood Money series is reading the headlines. Of course, Chad Bingham Jr. We gets taken out here. We get to see that, you know, of course, police don't have any witnesses. They don't know what happened. They just know that he was killed. And, of course, you know, he has a bright future ahead of him. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Check out the ch uh, videos on the channel. We'll see you next video. Have a good one, guys. The Attractive Nuisance is out.